has passed. And the people sat us. He sat us. Oh, they didn't have a place to worship. So I gathered all of them and I said, they have sacked us. There's no place to worship because we made noise. But don't let us stop the noise. Amen. Let us go and hide. And all of them, the ones who are still praying, God showed us the cinema Amen. which you have in Degna. Amen. It was born out of prayer. Amen. Shout hallelujah. Amen. Today, the church is spreading everywhere in the United Kingdom. Amen. Spreading everywhere. It is the prayer of very few people. Amen. When you get angry, ask me to stop. <laughs> Shout amen. amen. God always positioned himself very close and near to hear his people readily when they call. The Trinity chapter 4 verse 7 says, For there is no great nation that has a God that is near them. The way the Lord our God is near us. For whatever reason that we shall call upon him. Amen. For whatever reason. There is no God like God. Amen. Shout amen. amen. And one of the things that fumbles me is that in heaven, when the angels of God have surrounded God, and when you go to Roman Catholic Church and they have incense which they give, the incense in heaven, that blast the nose of God is the prayer of the saints. Hey, I didn't hear that. I didn't hear that. I didn't hear that. It says, when, now when he had taken the scroll, the four living creatures and the 24 elders fell down before the Lamb, each having a happy and golden bowl full of incense. And this incense is the prayer of the saints. Revelation chapter 5, verse 8. And one of the fascinating scriptures that always, always pushes me. Look into my eyes. Can I speak? Yes. yes. I'm speaking, I'm not tired, and you are listening to me, you are tired. <laughs> Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. It's that the Almighty God bottles the prayer of the saints. Amen. Amazing. So there is a day called a day of trouble. And in the day of trouble, when you cannot get up, you have been put in prison. And there is no bail for you. That prayer you have prayed and that has been bottled mm. is the one that is open. Amen. And Jesus lifted up before the Father and said, remember, this is one of your kind. Somebody here shout, Amen. I love this one. So pray in the morning, pray in the afternoon, pray in the evening, pray until you are praying some and kept it somewhere. And it will answer for you in the day of trouble. Shout amen. amen. My only problem, my friends, is that when you are getting on too, too much, don't forget the dependency on this God. Amen. When all things around you are going well, do not forget. And you can only make a demand upon him and touch him by that act of prayer. Amen. And everybody has that ministry. Everybody has that ministry. What did I say? Everybody has that ministry. Everybody has that ministry. It's not reserved for two people. It's reserved for everyone. Whether you are young or you are growing up, it is different. Whether you are a pastor or a pastor, or bishop or bishop, it is reserved for you. I told you, you can't tell me, I'm here, you can't tell me, you can't tell me. There's a way you can do it, and there is a way God can answer it. Amen. Now I'm showing you how to use the prayer to tap into God. You amen. So amen. 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 When we were not theologians, there are too many people who saw our people pray. Today, when we became theologians, we have drawn them out, cancelled them. Mm -hmm. But when God is answering prayer, it doesn't depend on you. Amen. Amen. You, you Amen. 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 you see, all the provision we receive from God come by two ways. Amen. Number one, it comes by faith. Yes. 
flow to by grace. Mm -hmm. Say it again. By what? By grace. By grace. By what? By grace. By what? By grace. By what? By grace. So how he will answer the prayer does not depend on me yes. or anybody. He answers it by grace and through faith. The next time can be one to one to teach him. The pastor of Pompeia will be there. I say, "Not do my duty." He had so amen. The theologian said, "This is not a correct prayer." I remember one day we went for a meeting in Accra, and we went with one of our deaconesses. She's not. She's on school, or her schooling is not too something. Amen. Praise him. Hallelujah. And I have quite no obey. They asked her to pray. She stood up and prayed a very nice prayer. As soon as we closed the meeting, one of the elders, a prominent one, came to me and said, Master, Master, see how this woman has gone to disgrace us. I said, which woman? He said, the one who went to pray. His prayer, Master, 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 everybody will take that people from the Lord. We said, Father, go now. Who knows what she If you she pray a prayer for, who did she pray a prayer to? God. Yes. And he answers it by faith. Those times, <laughs> until recently when we found out that it was a wrong player, it was working. <laughs> 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 God will not consult the theological correctness. <laughs> he will do it by grace. Yes. But what I'm driving at is that the scripture has conditions which, you, which cannot fail of how you can tap into the resources of God at any time. So, amen. 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 These conditions, I'm just giving it to you. But as to how he will answer, he does them by his own grace and by faith. Amen. And he does it without respect of people. Amen. 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 In fact, I mean, my wife is going to be a while. I'm 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 going to be a so <laughs> Why you more bay? Why you more bay? Why you more bay? I never know what to do. Home you now, puncher. Oh, one will be washing our sack of street in the room. Oh, my job, you didn't want to be one minute. Watch it, they can now wear power for now. Oh, watch it doesn't depend on the sharing of the pastor. The same time that I may talk on what's in the chat. I was never find that we didn't put a new chat. No, we didn't work from a people of four teams in the world. But let's start in the Abigail. I'm from the yeah, 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 Venice and a Charlotte. And the Dory, and the yeah, 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 yeah,
Amen. If nobody is my protection, the Lord God is my protection. Somebody shout amen. amen. And then they began to call all the police people from national security and whatever and whatever. The armed robbers, eight of them, were just walking about in the house. And then quickly, all of them, they said, No, 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 this is not the right place. Let us go. 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 By the time the police the cars were there, the doors were open, the kids were sitting inside the cars, all kinds of cars. He left. Yes. It was a national news. Yes. There is a God who yes. answers prayer. Yes. There is a God who works on behalf of the people that depends on him. Call upon me in the day of trouble and I will answer you and show you grace. Because you have set your power upon me, I will honor you and redeem you. Somebody shout amen. amen. Our hearts are positioned wrongly. And for all this while you have been positioning your heart on, on possession. What you can do in 10 years with one week, prayer can do it. They ask me all the time, how did you do it? The apostle was asking me when I came, hey, what happened to uh, your temple? He was the one who cast the sword. And I told him, oh yes, I went to Israel. And that is where people go to cry. Ask me, when I went there, I went to cry. I went to the place, there was no place anywhere. I took my presiding hand, walked around the front gate of the nation. Went around. I said, what are we doing? I said, we are taking possession of this land. Amen. The Bible says, wherever the suits of our fish are turned, it shall be to us. And I told him that, look, this is where the central of the church will have to be. We'll build it here. I said, ah, you can talk like this. This one doesn't belong to you. And the day we collected it, and the owner was giving it to us, if you see. Amen. 
We went to cut the sword, and apostles and them were there, they declared. By the time it was one and a half, two and a half years, the building was finished. It was completed. When you set yourself inside, proper edifice, modern in all the standard, and it was in the same. When you get out there, you see the glass, and the, the, signet, the signage, and you enter. You see where the nursing mothers are sitting, and when the toilets are there, and when they are when they are when they are the <laughs> and all the officers. Yeah. And who told you prayer cannot work? I'm waiting your appetite, so that when you go, I forbid you to sleep tonight. Hallelujah. Amen. But all said and done, in 15 minutes I will give you an antidote. The first condition for which your prayer will be answered is that every prayer you pray, you must pray that prayer in the name of Jesus. Amen. It is the only name by which you can access his presence. If you wait, stand before him and say, eh, James Macron, James Macron, that name is not known in heaven. That's the wild one, that's why you know. <laughs> Open your Bible to John chapter 14. I want somebody who can read very fast and quick, one of the presiding elders, to come to play and read with me. Or one of the ladies get angry and come and sit beside, beside me. As soon as it's 15 minutes, I'll stop. Then we'll enter into prayer. Amen. Come quickly. There's nobody here to come. John chapter 14, verse 12 to 14. And let another one come. John chapter 15, verse 16. Yes. Quickly. From John 14, 12 to 14. You open John 15, 16. And somebody else open John 16, 23 to 24. Go on. Don't waste time. Don't read ahead. Go quickly. 12 to 14. Very, very, I say unto you. Every time you are reading the Bible and the Bible says verily, verily, it means that it is a truth that cannot be changed. Mm. You heard that? Mm. It said, Very verily I say unto you, He that believed on me, the works that I do, shall he do also. Mm -hmm. And greater works than these shall he do. How? Because I go unto my Father. Mm -hmm. And whatsoever ye shall ask in my name, Whatever you shall ask in the name of the prophet, no. In the name of the pastor, no. In the name of my mother church, no. In what name? Jesus. That is the name that opens the door and grants you access. Amen. It is like you have gone to a bank. You don't go stand in the bank and uh, you say, uh, you know that uh, you take me to be a rich man. <laughs> I said, take me to be a rich man. Yeah. And which of the bank do you have in credit? Barclays. Barclays. And I have a lot of money in Barclays. So you go to the Barclays man manager and tell him, I'm coming to collect 500000 for the sake of Apostle Jimmy Barclays. Where am I? Where am I? Where am I? So too many people collect too many things for the sake of Jesus. Jesus don't need a shirt. For the sake of Jesus Christ, and everybody says amen. It's a traditional prayer. And that's what the, the theologians will say is not a correct prayer. Why do Mojanity? Amen. Why do Moja? I do Moja came to do something distinct. But go and stand at the bank and say, I do Moja. The Moja washes us. The Moja sanctifies us and cleans us. How do you people pray it and God answers? I have no problem with it. But scripturally, we have not been asked to tender in the chair with the blood. We have been asked to tender in the chair. What do we use to tender in the chair? The signature. And the only signature that can bring the money is the name of Jesus. It has an open access. Read the other one. And what's and 
And whatsoever he shall ask in my name, that will I and do. And whatsoever, everybody say whatsoever. Whatsoever. You shall ask. You shall ask. In what? In my name. That's it. Go on. That the Father may be glorified in the Son. I will do it so that the Father will be glorified in the Son. And whatsoever. Everybody say whatsoever. Whatsoever. What is soever? Amen. Amen. I only love the Nigerians. They, they pray dangerous prayers. Oh, mommy. So, Lord, you, you already know that I love you. <laughs> and you say you love me. But you, you are God. And you own everything. The way me, I love you. If it is the same that you love me, then act. Because the way I love you, if I'm the one who has all power and all authority, what you are asking for you, I will do it for you. <laughs> so please, I am praying in your name. Yeah. Do it for me. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. She put his this in the world. Thank you. And she's gone. The next day, she has a testimony. Amen. You understand? Yes. When I come in the name of Jesus, there is a complete answer. Read it. If you shall ask anything in my name, if you shall ask what? Anything. anything. What is anything? In my name, what is the following one? I will do it. I will do it. Amen. So if you read your own, please sit down for a while. I'll call you. John chapter 15, verse 16. Yes. You did not choose me. You did not choose me. But I chose you. I have chosen you. And appointed you that you should go and bear fruit. Yes. And that your fruit should remain. And that... Your fruit should remain that whatever you ask the Father in my name. Whatever you ask the Father in my name. In a song, would you remark his name? No. In whose name? Jesus. Jesus. What follows? He may give you. He will give you. Your Bible says he may. Yes, that is New King James. He says he may. It's a very terrible for he is gratified for all of you. What can be done, Ash? He shall, he shall, he 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 go for all of you. But if you think I fail, he what? Not he may. I have tried it for a long time. And I can attest to you that he answers prayer. Amen. See, and I read again John chapter 16, verse 20 and 24. But I will read one more. 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 20. Past that. Before I go, be sure your Bible is a good Bible. You can take my own. <laughs> John 16, 23 and 24. And 24. Yes. I'm reading from King James. Yes. And in that day. And in that day, he shall ask me nothing. He will not ask me of anything. Very, very, I say unto you, whatsoever he shall ask the Father in my name, whatsoever he will what give so it to you. You will ask the Father. The condition is in my name. He will, he will give it to you. you. Why? Read 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 20 quickly. Why? Why? Why will he give it to you? One, yes. Verse 20. For all the promises of God. Because all the promises that God has made in him, in him, are yes. And on the line that in him, every promise that God has made finds its fulfillment only in him. No matter how many promises God has made, it is only in Him. Amen. Amen. Uh, yes. And there uh, and in Him. Amen. To the glory of God. Amen. Give the Lord a clap off. Yeah. No matter how many promises God has made, it is only in Him that the Amen is. So that you can say Amen to the glory of God. Amen. Number two is that be sure that all the prayer you are praying, you pray it according to the word of God. See, God is not moved by your tears. How do you say one quana who swans as a sister? Obiesu, Ati. No, sir. Obiesu. Obiesu. 
God is not moved by your tears. Some people come to, to church and they come to see all kinds of things. If you don't know the word of God, you don't know how to pray. Amen. What did I say? Amen. Some of you don't even like Bible study. If you don't come to Bible study and study the word, you can't pray well. God is only moved by his word, not your tears. Amen. Shout amen. Amen. It's only moved by your word. Oh. Obey. The papa is skinny, pa. Me body no What not talk like the pen, oh baby? You will see it. It was our classmate. That was the scripture, you know, present. He came back to tell us, "I'm not going to invest in keep us when I invest it." And my father has not paid my school fees since I entered. He doesn't know. I said, "Why?" Because he has married a new woman. I said, what happened? This woman was his mother's friend. One day, this woman was able to come and sleep with a man and his wife in their own room. She was here, the man is here, the wife is here. And from that day, she managed to kill the woman and took over the marriage. The man has kicked all three children out of the house and nothing was working. So when she came to tell us the story, we held our hands. Began to quote God's word back to him. Say God's word. God's word. I have no time to explain all this. Father, you said where two or three are gathered together. Yes. Yes. Ah, ah, give yourself a clap of hands. Not when they are gambling. Eh? But they have held themselves together in the name of Jesus. You are with them. And whatever they ask you, do it. Mm-hmm. Father, in your word, mm-hmm. the daughters of Zelophiha mm-hmm. confronted you yeah. and you changed your own. Yes. Yeah. We are also your children. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Your daughter is entitled to your father's property yes. because a good father leaves his property to his children. Yes. Yes. And like you are a father, his father is also a father. Mm-hmm. And so we connect in the name of Jesus. Yes. Whatever power is in the house, mm-hmm. Holding this mind, mind, and spirit. We bend that power. Amen. We bend it. Amen. And we take a war against that spirit. In the name of Jesus. Amen. We pray for less than 30 minutes. Wow. And we ourselves. She just got to the house the first thing in the evening. As soon as she entered the house, the stepmother was in front of the house. And you have been taking me everywhere, trying to kill me, and trying to push me away. She took a telephone call and called us. The, the stepmother is acting strange and said that is only the beginning. As soon as his father came home, he looked at her and said, Ah, Mommy, are you in this house? He said, Yes, I've always been here. See, I've not seen you for a long time. So, which class are you? He said, I am entering the university. See, and I do not know. But you have, have, you, have, have you been paying your school fee? He said, I struggle to pay the school fee. He said, ah, come with me. So what do you need? He took her right to the market and started buying. He started from buying the store. And practicing the things like that and brought her home and gave her money to go and pay school fees. The woman became hysteria. Amen. The power of the devil began to lift. Come on, shout Amen. amen. God is always standing at the back of his way. He's waiting to perform it. And that was the end of it. She got out of that home without anybody turning up. <laughs> without anybody what? I am What? You have what it makes it with you. The God with you is a great God. Somebody shout amen. And he answers prayer. I'm only preaching. You see? Number three is that you have to pray according to the word of God, according to 1 John chapter 5, verse 14 and 15. 
The fourth is that the person who is coming to God must come through faith. Amen? Amen. Is there any trouble? Some people didn't pack well. Act as though the word of God is true. Take it. Hallelujah. Amen. Mark chapter 11, verse 23 to 24. The fifth one is that you have to thank God that the prayer you have prayed, he has answered. And that's Philippians chapter 1, chapter 4, verse 6 to 7. And the sixth one, which I wanted to talk about it for one hour, is that when you pray and you are coming before God and you have a problem with anybody, forgive that person. Yeah. Two husbands, or a husband and his wife, are living in the same bed. They take the same communion. That's what one can. So your prayer doesn't even get up to this ceiling. And everything in your life is crumbling down. If I give you any anointing on you, it is nothing. It wouldn't work. So I realized that the basic step is that sort the issues of your heart. Amen. Amen. The trouble it is bringing us. Now we have the U.S. We have the Nigerian in Canada. We want to see the bench of You want some Namibia? I'm preaching. Preacher. And sometimes this senior brother is the one they call presiding elder. Now we have back now the back now, but some of these church people, they are the people that make you fight it. So on this one, he point out and say that is my pastor. You see, you are. Yeah, you know what he That is my, that is my elder. Of a telephone, I know a friend. He said, be a no catch him. I'm so who are how many men can I move? I tell you, I'm so good at catching. 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 I'm so good at the issues of your heart. The Bible didn't say when somebody has anything against you. It says when you realize that you have ought against him, put your offering down there and go there and shut it out. That is the basic biblical prayer. Amen. 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 Am I teaching the Bible? Yes. And every one of us must come. That is the last one I want to talk about. Must approach the throne of God boldly. And come to the throne of God. Listen, look into my eyes. Can I say, say boldly. Boldly. Nobody comes from anybody. I'm an intercessor. I understand what I'm talking about. I look at this. God is looking for you. Come before him with your own problem. I'm telling you, 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 you want to put it in the air fast now, man. Why do you fast when you hear your demand? You put your hand between your hands. You be here and you go. Let's see. Let's stop it. You be here and you go. You be here and you go. Some man behind them. Everybody must come for the show. Oh, we are here and we are here. The vampire also in town. But when the curtain. The room was cut into two. God gave everybody access. You don't need a rabbi anymore. You don't need an intermediary anymore. You don't need a pastor anymore. You don't need an apostle anymore. You don't need a prophet anymore. The Bible says, come boldly. By the time I pass through Canada and go through US and come to your place, you might be too late. But what are you going to do? He said, Don't worry about me. I said, What did you say? He 
He said, don't worry about me. I said, what are you going to do? He said, you have taught us enough not to be dependent on you, but to be dependent on him. That is Pentecostal. That is apostolic. Yes. Everybody knows how to do it for himself. Yes. Do it yourself. Ah! Ah! Until you cry the heavens down, you don't stop. Mm. And one day, my all my dickies were there. The dickies. My certain woman came there, she said, I am, I am a witch. So I called up them, I said, come and listen to what this woman is saying. Woman is saying for them to see, he said, I am a witch. And they said, we are dead. Let <laughs> 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 You don't know where you are standing. Are you listening? Yes. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I do I don't know. Oh, no, I'm the staff. I'm the team. I'm the chairman. I'm going to answer all my questions. Shout out to him. I'm the staff. I'm the chairman. I'm going to answer all your Come and see punks. Hey, come up, baby. Hey, boys, come up. Walk around the yard. Come up, come up. Come up, come up. Come up, come up. <laughs> but I use it as an opportunity to teach them. So I just called the woman after they have exhausted everything. And I said, let us worship together. You see, when we begin to worship, God doesn't send the comes. Shout amen. amen. And that is the place where the Bible says, bring offering of thanksgiving. When you are praying to him and you know that your prayer is answered, what cripples the hands of the devil is when you begin to give thanks. For what you have asked God to do. Amen. After a little while of the worship, I said, Now look at the thing. I asked one of them, What do you think it is? So he mentioned the spirit quickly. And the lady began to become hysterical. I said, I dress it. I said, How do I dress it? Speak to it in the name of Jesus. Amen. And command that spirit to live. As soon as we commanded the spirit, the eyes began to turn. And she began to wonder. And bam, the day was gone. Say, ah, this is how it is. And we have suffered for five hours. I said, it's not for nothing. The five hours is for you to learn. But the truth is that you must, we have to come boldly. Don't wait for anybody. We shall be somewhere facing you. Yes. Facing you. Yes. Yeah. 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 Read that last scripture. Let us pray for 10 minutes and do what we have to do. Hebrew chapter 4, verse 14 to 16. Read it. Let us therefore let us say it after him. Let us therefore come boldly to the throne of grace. Come boldly to the throne of grace. Your Bible is wrong. It says, Come to me. Come boldly. Come to me. No. no. Come what? Boldly. To where? The throne of grace. Go and ask the pastor to come with you. No. What did he say? Come, come boldly. Are you 
you understanding that? Yes. yes. Okay. Go on. Yes. Yes. Hebrews 4.16. Yes. This is Yes, so you start from the 14, it doesn't matter. Let us all read it. Let's all read it. Go. confession. Yes. And then the King James says, he is the high priest of our confession. Yes. When he was on earth, he was an apostle. Yes. When he went, he was a high priest. Yes. And what makes his high priestly work proper is that his high priesthood is based on our confession. Yes. Your confession is what you say. So when you come here, you are talking to him. <laughs> Whatever you say is what he will tell the father that this is what your son is saying. So do it. So if you come and sit before God and you start doing, eh, Raja and Kupa, where are you? Move to Kukamwa. And yeah, 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 yeah. And son, one, one, son, and you see, I don't want you. And Raja, Mr. Fetch and die. Raja, Mr. Fetch and die. I can't worry more, worry more, Papa. I can't worry more, I can't worry more. This man you are talking to is a church. So he passes it on your confession to the judge and says, this is what your son is doing. Do it. By the time you are aware, you are a widow. We are no no. 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 We and then you continue from tomorrow. Yeah. But try it in a few words. You are not going to pray for too long. Yeah. We just pray for two words. When you are, if you are sick, get well. Amen. 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 If you are in trouble, you are coming out of the trouble. Amen. Just by a prayer of faith. Amen. And when you are finished, say thank you. Amen. Watch this. Amen. If you will not do it. Amen. Amen. The Lord bless you. Amen. Amen. The Lord keep you. Amen. Amen. The Lord cause his face to shine Amen. and give you his peace. Amen. You know, I have prayed for almost two hours. Yes. yes. And none of you know. Mm-hmm. You are sitting down quietly. Yeah. And I'm going to <laughs> you know why you are sitting down? It means the power of the word mm. has hooked you down. Yes. This is what the spirit and the word does in the life of people. Amen. 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 Is to trust God with your offering. Amen. Whatever comes into your heart, do it. Amen. Because God is with you. Amen. Rise up on your feet, everyone.